Hi friends, I'm Cheryl. Welcome to my channel. I am um, doing this reading tonight off camera because um, I don't feel really well. And um, because of that, I don't look great. <laughs> Not that I think that I um, look great other days, but I at least um, feel okay. <laughs> And tonight, I really wanted to do this reading, but um, I really wasn't feeling that great. So I am going to be doing a reading on the 10 days, the next 10 days on your healing journey. And what I've been asked to um, kind of ask you to think about as we go into this is what is it that you need to heal? What is something you feel? And if you aren't sure, that's okay. Just recognize, do is there something that's been bothering you, even if you can't pinpoint it? Because pull that energy in because that may be exactly what this reading is going to help you through. And we are going to be pulling 10 cards for the next 10 days. Um, so I already recorded the reading and then Spirit told me that I needed to do this as the intro. So um, just so that you are prepared. I'm sending you love. And um, I'm using the Moon and Stars Tarot cards for this spread. Um, the Moonology decks are just there for me to line my cards up against. This spread is just looking at um, the... May is not, it's just pulling from the major arcana. So, card number one represents the sun. The sun. This is day one. What card do we need for day one? Day one. The card that came out is the High Priestess, number two. This card, another card came out, but it was face down. This is the card. This is inviting us on day one, tomorrow, whatever your tomorrow is, there's something your inner voice is trying to tell you. That's what I'm getting from this card. Something... You're holding on to something um, and you are not wanting to see. You're not wanting to see whatever it is that is being shown to you. Um, Because your eyes are closed and you're holding on so tight to something that you believe, um, you are missing the fact that the rays are beaming around you, that the stars are behind you. So day one, invites that openness to the inner voice. Day two is Mercury. Mercury is about communication and intellect. Intellect. What is Mercury on day two trying to tell us? Okay. The devil, card number 15. 
obsession. So, you know, following that inner voice where you are having struggles with holding on to something, the devil card actually makes a lot of sense here um, because it's telling me that on day two, you may be um, all of this in the background really feels like chaos to me. And you've got these fire breathing dragons. So on day one, you're really feeling like you're trying to listen to your inner voice. And on day two, you may be feeling like all the chaos around makes it very hard to see beyond what you have always known. I feel like this is coming up, this reading is coming up right now because there's something major that we are healing and each of us may have something different that we're healing. So this is a high level perspective, but I feel very much like the process is the same. That's what the divine is, is telling me, is, is making me feel like. So this devil energy, this obsession is, it's almost like an obsession with the way it has been the way it was. Ah, the way it was. The way you were. I'm hearing, um, the way we were the song from the way we were. Scattered pictures of the smiles we left behind. Smiles we gave to one another for the way we were. This feels like feeling like day two, you've listened to this inner voice on day one and you're focusing on maybe you're having trouble letting go of something. And on day two, it's bringing up all of these memories which feel very chaotic. And it's like, why did it have to change? Why did it Why did it have to change from the way we were? Mm. Powerful. Day three. Day three is Venus. Venus is love and attraction. What is coming in on day three? Now I'm telling you what these planets represent, but that doesn't necessarily mean, obviously, from day one and day two. That doesn't mean that that's what... Um, these cards are telling us about the next 10 days. Day three, Venus. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about day three? What's happening after this devil energy? Where are we going with this? Resistance, feeling lots of resistance. And it's even hard to shuffle the cards, like I'll show you. It's hard to get them shuffled. There we go. Goodness, that was hard. <laughs> so the card that came out was the strength card.
So it feels to me like on day three, you're going to find some inner strength. You're going to find, I feel like this blue is really giving me this feeling of finding your voice about, about this, how you feel. And I do feel like the eyes are opening where they were closed on the day one high priestess. So it, it feels a lot like with day three, you're going to turn a corner and find some inner strength, inner strength to help you fight through whatever it is you're battling right out now, whatever it is you're trying to heal. So day four is the moon, emotional and mood. What's the card for day four? Justice. So I feel like this is really giving me this picture of not only balance, but balance between really being happy and the unknowns in your life. Like one doesn't rely on the other. And you might feel like up until now, maybe with as you've come into day one with that high priestess, you may feel like the unknowns were heavier on you and they kept you from being happy. And this is this justice card on day four is finding some truth is turning a corner. Like all it took was getting a little bit of strength back to be able to be more objective. And, and then in day four, be able to balance out those unknowns with your happiness. In other words, the unknown doesn't make you unhappy. It, you don't have to be unhappy just because there are unknowns in your life. This journey comes with a lot of unknowns. So it's it's about realizing that you can be happy even if you don't know what's coming. That's kind of a, a position of faith. So let's go to day five. Day five is Mars. Motivation and aggression. What is happening on day five? Day five, what's coming? The star. A little bit of hope here. Number 17. Now, the eyes are closed again, but this time it doesn't feel like they're closed in a holding on to something place. It's there is a feeling of the vastness of the universe around us. And even to like surrounding Just like with the High Priestess, this card has a lot of purple. 
and it's almost like the inner voice that we feel on day one comes to a new place on day five, a day, a place where now we can see that wherever it was on day one, but with more objectivity, with more hopefulness. So that's day five. Day six is Jupiter. Abundance and good fortune. It's coming on day six. Day six. So this moon card <laughs> coming behind the star card feels like, it says misinterpretation, but what I'm being given is it feels like understanding the cycles, understanding that it's all part of cycles that we go through. It's, it's almost like the, whatever it is you're healing that you were resisting that you were feeling this obsession this devil energy that you had to get some strength to be able to get through and and be able to start to balance the unknowns um, and get some hope back with that hope comes an understanding of the cycles of life that it's it's like it changes constantly so that's what i'm being given on day six day seven day seven is saturn Ambition and responsibility. The Emperor. So you get to a point in the next 10 days where you feel more like you understand that this is cyclical, that this is maybe a pattern that you've gone through before, that you... Um, maybe can even understand some of it. And you're just applying this new layer of understanding to this, but you have some hope. And this emperor comes in and this card feels very strong, even in the darkness. That's what I'm getting. There's a lot of darkness in this card. The moon, is dark but it's radiating light behind it and the emperor has his eyes closed but he sits in a i don't know like on top of the world understanding that there's hope all around so once again, we still have the hope of the star card. So with this understanding of the cyclical nature on day seven, you begin to feel more grounded, more in power. Hmm. Day eight, Uranus, freedom and change, freedom and change. Bunches of cards fell. Hang on one second, let me get them. <laughs> Sorry. 
goodness, you have to hear me all out of breath and struggling to bend over. <laughs> Uranus. Uranus. The Magician. Card number one. You know what I love about this for, by, for card number eight, for the eighth day, is you begin to feel in your power and then you feel magical. You feel like you can take care of multiple things at once. And look at this shooting star with the infinity sign in it. You can create, you know that... Um, you are able to keep things going. You're able to manage all of the different things in your life, in your dreams. And interestingly enough, and I haven't looked at all these major arcana to see this, but once again, we've got the eyes closed. But now, instead of like at the beginning where the eyes closed felt like it was closing yourself off to the truth, this feels like trust in the future, trust in what's happening. So by day eight, this card really feels like trusting in you. Trusting in your own magic in the universe. Trusting, it's, and look, it even looks like he's standing on the universe. You know, like on maybe on the Milky Way or something. The stars are much bigger. With these comets shooting through the sky. Nine is Neptune. Reality and discovery. What's going on after this magician? Day nine. The death card. This is... So what this card feels like to me is you started this 10-day period at a place of denial, at a place of not really um, wanting to let go of something, not seeing how you could let go of something. That devil card really makes it seem like it's, you can't see how you can let go. And you've worked your way through by day eight to a place where you're in power and you feel your own magic again. Trust. And day nine, this release, the death card energy, this, this is like coming full circle. And this starburst here really is like the light bulb goes off and you are able to let go of whatever it is that on day one, you couldn't figure out how to let go of. You are able to release. And day 10 is Pluto. Power and control. What is happening on day 10? What is happening on day 10? Lord, what is happening on day 10? Wow, the Wheel of Fortune. Ten. 
completion of the cycle. This is understanding. So with that release comes an understanding of what it is that fate and destiny, what the, what the divine has planned for you, for your destiny. Where we saw those cycles before with the moon card we're seeing less of them with that star bursting in the center but what we're really seeing is that when we release we're able to truly understand what destiny brings for us. What is it that destiny brings for us? So that is the 10 day reading. I hope that it helps. I'm sending you so much love and light. Bye for now.